What's up, everybody? How you doing? This is Max Billy from Wall Street. Got the week two game. My boy Daniel Taylor already breaking tackles for the first down. The game just started and he's already wowing. You know what I'm saying? But this is the Daniel Taylor and Quincy Blunt career playing for the Atlanta Falcons. And oh my, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Second down, bro. Second down, we diving into the end zone, man. Daniel Taylor and this off, he really like took took the offense to a whole nother level. We had Steven Jackson back there before and Jaquiz Rogers, but Daniel Taylor is a combination of every running back on the Atlanta Falcons team. Like he's he's Ant he's Antoine Smith with his speed. He's Jaquiz Rogers with his moves. Jaquiz Rogers could actually truck a little bit, but Steven Jackson was the main trucker to get that one yard. But Daniel Taylor is all that, you know what I'm saying? But we still got Quincy Blunt on defense. The defense is still stopping people in the backfield. Every play, all game, you know what I'm saying, coming up. Quincy Blunt jamming the tight end. He didn't even get off the line, bro. He didn't, he didn't even get into his route until the quarterback threw. That's how y'all play that defense. That's how y'all do stuff out here, man. But I come up and make this nice linebacker play right there. I shot the gap as soon as the guard went out of the way. And that's what you're supposed to do, man. If you see a hole in the offensive line, you're supposed to you're supposed to fill it. It depends on which uh, which linebacker position you're playing. But that's what I was taught in, uh, in high school. So if you see a hole, and you, I, I knew it was a run because the guard pulled. You know what I'm saying? I think Madden has a couple of plays where it's a play action and the guard pulls. But that's what, like, the Panthers and... I think just the Panthers. I th I'm thinking the Eagles, but I'm not really sure. But as Matt Ryan gets sacked right here, I wanted to t um, tell y'all that I'm going to be on Twitch a lot more because, you know, I am type lazy. But this is, like, th these videos are, like, getting longer now because I have to play both sides of the ball and all this stuff. And I don't want to, like, miss some big play like this one right here. My boy Josh Wilson with the interception return for the touchdown. And, um, you know, I'm going to start being on Twitch a lot more because this video is, like, 11 minutes long. I don't know if I'm going to start, um, up. I'm not going to start playing the, the Quincy Blunt and Daniel Taylor career on Twitch um, because I already got those videos saved. I just got to edit them, and then editing them takes a while, and then rendering them takes a while. And I'll be lazy. You know, I, I come home at, like, 6, and then I, I try to do something. And then that doesn't really work out. It, it all doesn't work out. So I'm gonna be on Twitch a lot more. Cause that way, <clears throat> excuse me, excuse me. That way, we I can come up, play the game, stream it on Twitch, and then at least like six or four people can see it. Um, I, I was thinking about you doing ranked matches or doing uh, Ultimate Team, something like that on on Twitch. I'm I'm, I'm leaning on ranked matches. So leave your comment. If you want to see either Ultimate Team or Ranked Matches, or possibly even the, the Quincy Bunn and Daniel Taylor career on Twitch. So, leave your comment about that. And that's what I was going to you know, I was thinking about playing. But Matt Ryan, obviously, he can't really pass the ball to me. I'm all the way across the field. He got sacked again. But that's what I'm starting doing. Because, you know, Twitch is easily, easily I can get videos or get to play and you guys can see it. Uh, quicker because I can't like keep on making these 11 11 minute I haven't made any 11 minute videos since like the first year that I was doing YouTube and I was like uh, I think it was some rank matches that were 11 minutes but you know it's not hard but it's just a really really long video I don't think I, w I wouldn't watch want to watch the 11 minute video personally if if I wasn't into what was being put on the screen, you know what I'm saying? But that's no problem, man. I, I can edit these. I got up to to week eight recorded, so I'm gonna try to record those, and I'm gonna try to go on Twitch. I might start playing 2K on Twitch. I'm gonna leave my Twitch in the description if you ain't followed me before. But we get the sack right here. Let me get back into this gameplay. We is trying to kick on the Buccaneers right now. It's third quarter. Falcons got 14 points, man. Vincent Jackson breaking tackles. Quincy Blunt. He got to smack him after that. Can't start bringing tackles out here. They got the first down. Quincy Blunt got stuck up with the blitz. Comes off the block with the spin and drops back in the coverage. And what do you know? The quarterback of the Bucks gets injured. Got to put the backup in. 
not really looking good on this second and long. They pass it to the flats and Quincy Blunt. I was waiting on that. You know what I'm saying? I, I set him up, try to get the even a bigger hit. We jamming the tight end again. He could have threw that. That would have been a interception. But he throws it to Vincent Jackson. His man. Best wide receiver on the Bucks right now. Or well, veteran wide receiver on the Bucks. And they end up scoring another touchdown with a fullback coming out of the backfield. I, I did mess up. That was my man on that play. We tried to get the screen pass game going. But Matt Ryan was really messing that up the whole game. Like he wasn't passing the ball in the right amount of time. So he'd take a sack and all this other stuff. So he really wasn't good with the screen pass of that game. He probably could have tossed that one up and I probably would have went under it. But the defense is tough. Just remember that. The defense is always tough because Quincy Blunt is always on the field. You know what I'm saying? The quarterback breaks attack, Quincy Blunt comes up. And just knocks him over. It wasn't even tag. He just knocked him over. Tried to get the fumble. Doesn't matter. That's another sack for Quincy. Coming up. Thought I was going to have a running back. I thought I could have picked it off. But I was a little too far behind it. Because you do want to want to be behind the pass. Because they won't throw it to you. If you're actually covering the wide receiver. They find somebody else to throw it to. But we back on offense. Roddy White missing that block. Had it for a second. He let him go. Could have been a touchdown. Might have not been. But we do the same play again. This is that DT3 counter. That's the out of the single back ace, man. That counter really works. Had a whole lot of touchdowns off of that. This time on third and three. We we just we just hard to stop. We just hard to, too hard to stop. We do another screen pass, and guess what? Matt Ryan doesn't want to throw the ball away. Even if you don't throw the ball to Daniel Taylor. You can still throw it out of bounds, you know what I'm saying? You can't give up sack fumbles, but Quincy Blunt coming up, making hits, injuring running backs, and he just walks away like nothing happened. Broke his arm, bro. His whole bicep is missing, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Took the muscle out of his arms like now. Nah. But they end up doing a draw play. Quincy Blunt didn't expect it. I didn't expect it. Should have, though, because the linemen started coming up field. This time, he's stopping the run again. This is exactly how you win. If you want to stop the run playing linebacker, you got to shoot gaps. Shoot the gaps that you want. And if you shoot your gap, they're going to have to bounce it out to somewhere else. And hopefully, when they do bounce out, you have other defenders there to stop it. So, we in the fourth quarter. we down by three. We can't let them score. And they score. Mike Evans gets the nice catch in traffic. Quincy Blunt, man, he was a little slow. I was trying to guard two routes at the same time. But, you know, the Falcons still running the ball because we got Daniel Taylor. That's never a bad idea. Don't matter. Above two minutes to go, we do another screen pass. He finally passes it, and we can actually get some yards on it. So we got a first down on that screen pass. We trying to come back, man. We now 24 to 14. We do another screen pass. He passes it again. Trying to do a juke. Broke the tackle. Got a little body slam right there. But it don't matter. We coming up third and six. We run the ball on third down, and you know what Daniel Taylor's gonna do. He's gonna get the first down. He gonna embarrass somebody while doing it. We really trying to score right here. We do the counter because you know that's the best play in the offense right here. Give Daniel Taylor the ball is the best play. He's the best player, so we give him the ball a majority of the time just so he can get out of bounds. We actually flip this screen so he can get closer to the out of bounds line. And look at this. Almost scored. Now we inside the 10 with a minute left. Got all three timeouts. We looking good. Come out, do the stretch play out the ace, and look at Easy touchdown for Daniel Taylor, the third. No celebrations needed. I'm like Marshawn Lynch. Coming up, 24 to 21. Under two minutes left. We all know they're going to run it. Quincy Blunt, I should have got the tackle, but I really got sucked into a block. So I couldn't tackle him, but it didn't matter. We stopped him in the backfield. I know they running it again. I'll shoot the gap I'm on. And he almost gets this first down after breaking a couple of tackles. We stop him right there, call the timeout. And you know what? I know they about to run it. We run commit, and we stop him in the backfield again. That's the defensive stand of the game. Come out, man. Trying to trick him. I don't know what happened. I was on the wheel route, and I come across the field, and I see Julio Jones is just sprinting down the field. Like, what? That's the only thing I do not like about this camera, because you can't really see where the pass is going to go if you're on the other side of the field. 
I guess that's realistic. But it's, it's type annoying because I, I did want to see the catch, and I got to wait for the replay. Don't know how. I mean, I do know how. He's Julio Jones. That's why he beat that corner, and he was too fast for the rest of the defense to catch up. Game winning touchdown, Matt Ryan to Julio Jones. You know what I'm saying? It's it's that that easy. Me coming up, last play of the game, man. We get the sack. Finish the game with the sack, man. That's that's how we do it. We won by one point, 27 to 28. This is a, we're just too nice. Even in down situations, we're too nice. You know what I'm saying? Falcons versus the Bucks. Division game, we actually winning out here. We got Daniel Taylor to lead the offense. And if they do try to stop Daniel Taylor, like they did on that last play, we're going to pass it to Julio Jones or to Roddy White or to Harry Douglas and score touchdowns. You know what I'm saying? The defense, though, we, we type let up. Of course, we won't let up at least like two touchdowns. I guess it was like a down game. I guess he was more focused on the run this game because he was stopping the run heavy but um it was real nice though julio jones got the moment of the game because he tough like that and i'm gonna say it again follow me on twitch i'm not even sure if that's how you say it or just add me on i'm, I'm not sure but i'm gonna figure it out because i'm gonna start uploading start streaming on twitch might figure out how to get like highlights of that and, and upload it or something like that so I can just have some some recorded videos out and be putting them out faster because I do have recorded videos but I have to edit these and you know, all that other stuff but this video is coming to an end so always remember in the street we trust I'm out